new location, new vlog, you bet. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about O'Clockney River State Park coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to episode two of RV Jedi, the vlog. Uh, today we are in O'Clockney River State Park, uh, a beautiful location so far, uh, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Uh, in today's vlog, we're going to talk about uh, a couple of things. Getting here, it was a little bit of a chore, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, a little drama once I got here, and I'll show you in just a bit. Also. We're going to talk about the park in general and the area. As I mentioned, it is absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance to get down this way, uh, please do. Uh, I've actually enjoyed uh, staying at state parks a lot, so I think that may be the plan moving forward. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And then also, Prince. Yeah, it's been a little while since he passed away. I was listening to a audio file today. Um, and it was a, a radio show that they were talking about Prince and it just made me start to think about him a little bit. So I wanted to share my, uh, my experiences with him and uh, what he meant to me. So that's what we got going. Hope you enjoy it. Getting here. Well, this one was a little bit of a challenge. I uh, chose a park that was about an hour and a half away from where I live normally. Um, once again, worked and then had to wait to get off work before I hit the road. Then when I hit the road, it was, um, it was interesting because it rained and was good and then it rained and here, take a look. On the road driving, uh, this time a little bit longer than my first trip out. This one is about uh, an hour and a half away from home, so it's kind of interesting uh, getting used to the feel of the rig. Uh, sure doesn't drive like a regular car, but I kind of expected that and felt it a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit like a U-Haul, but with more weight or a packed U-Haul. I guess that's the best way to look at it. But uh, so far, so good. Easy drive. Let's see what the, the space, uh, the place I'm going to ends up looking like. I'm going to the O'Clockney River State Park, so it should be pretty. It's Florida and rain comes up at any time and sure enough, here it is again. So two weeks out, I'm dealing with rain. It's gonna be interesting. This time it's coming down kind of hard. Just like that, the rain is gone. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> I got here and I was able to get the uh, unit set up, turned on my air conditioning and it's not working. It's also about 98 degrees humid because it's Florida, raining now, so it's soupy and swampy. And as you can tell by my face, I am sweating. Gone through all my manuals, can't figure out what's going on. I'm hoping uh, something kicks on here and I don't have to go take it back to the shop. But I gotta be honest, right now, it's, it's pretty unbearable. Here, take a look. Ninety degrees. Uh, I think you're probably looking at it backwards because uh, 
I have the camera facing me, but it's 90 degrees in here and it hasn't gotten any cooler since I got here. So now I'm gonna try and figure out something, see if I can cool down. I do have a fan, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Okay, <laughs> remember how it was like 90 degrees and I couldn't figure out what to do? Well, I did the old IT expert kind of thing, you know, when they come down and they have to fix your computer and they go, did you turn it on, did you turn it off? Well, I turned it off, turned it back on, and as you can see, it is now down to 83. That's not 38, it's just the phone. I don't know what's going on, but at least it's getting cooler, and as you can tell, I have my shirt back on. So that's a good thing for all of us. So where I'm staying right now is Oclockney River State Park. It's uh, just a little bit outside of Tallahassee and it's been really beautiful. A lot different than the first park that I was at. This one's a little bit bigger, um, more stuff to do. Uh, in terms of hiking, things like that. Uh, and just the area in general is gorgeous. Um, one of the nice things about this park, uh, last night when I was out taking a little walk, uh, there was a group, uh, three women, who were playing some of their instruments, and I stopped and said hello and just listened for a while. So that was kind of cool about the park. Hopefully they'll be playing a little bit later tonight and I'll check them out. Uh, and then uh, today I, I got a chance to go out and uh, just explore, walk around. I think you can hear a little bit of the river. Um, a boat just went by. If you ever get a chance to come to the O'Clockney River State Park, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Um, enjoying my hike so far. Obviously there were some, uh, some fire here uh, and it looks fairly recent. I, I'd have to go back and check, uh, but it's it's created kind of a shosugiban kind of effect with some of the woods. And and for those who are not familiar with that expression, it's that Japanese technique where you burn the wood uh, and then it seals it and makes it look really really pretty. It's something that. Uh, you know, uh, decorators use on houses and things like that a lot. But uh, in the forest, in the area here, there's a lot of that around and uh, you can see the power of nature. You know, I don't know what caused the fires or what happened, um, but it's left some beautiful landscapes and you just learn to appreciate the area just a little bit more. So this morning as I was making my breakfast, uh, I was listening to a podcast, Pop Culture uh, Happy Hour. Uh, it's from NPR. Check it out if you can. I really love it. Uh, and they were talking about Prince. And it was an older episode. This is right after he died. And it, it started getting me thinking about him a little bit. Um, I, I grew up listening to him from the get-go. Uh, the Controversy album was one of the best. And then it just kind of kept going for me. Uh, I was lucky enough to have seen him play twice. Uh, he was an amazing musician uh, and more talented than I think most people really realize. Uh, he composed, played, did everything. Um, and, you know, 
lost Michael Jackson a couple years ago, lost Prince. Um, those were two of the big icons that I had growing up and listening to their music. They they really impacted me. And, you know, I, I always thought, you know, it's life. You know someone's going to pass along, but didn't see this one coming. And um, it, it was a little tough. It was a rough one. But um, I have fond memories of him, fond memories of his music, and his music will live forever. So um, thanks, Prince. And I... Hope you're partying like it's 1999. So that'll wrap up this episode of The Vlog, Episode 2. Not sure where I'm going next, but uh, as soon as I know, you guys will know. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you follow the blog at rvjedi.com. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at rvjedi. Uh, also here on Facebook at RV Jedi and then on Facebook at uh, Vader Raider. Thanks very much. Have a great day and go out and RV.